I could sleep all day long in this bed. But that's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. This, this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. to go out now. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? <sighs> I'm glad they get along so good. <sighs> Daniel's deaf. Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. We survived for weeks out there with no hot water. I used to hate brushing my teeth, just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Wow, they sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. They have so many pills and stuff to take. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's... Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me a pop star. St 
Stephen, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, uh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. 
I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. You belong in the cupboard. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. <sighs> yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Tonight, buddy. Claire, Claire can drop pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you handle I have sure. Hold on. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I... I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's... It's fine, really. We don't have... You're not the only one Karen hurt. It's... It's fine, really. We don't have to. Hey... Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me, I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh, my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> I almost started dating this one person. But I guess 
Not anymore. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Hey, I want to be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Drawing starts by observing, like your teacher used to say. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. That is good advice. Stephen ought to read this. Hmm. I'm not moving. Pretty good. Hope I look good. But I can add more details if I want. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I need to train my visual memory. Hope I look good. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? <laughs> Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> Too bad it's broken. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. Weave kindness into your daily narrative. Beautiful. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Steven could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. Of course he would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll see.
I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Uh, Sean? I'm still waiting for that glue here. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've, uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can, well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I... I really don't know what to think. He needs a... doctor. Or... something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Uh, We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run. <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. 
Well, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. But trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. Stephen sure takes his hobby. <laughs>